Now, we are going to hear the wonderful story of one of my friends, Winston Buckles. Winston Buckles awoke from his sleep with a sudden gasp. <gasps> Ran across the hardwood floor to where his goldfish lived and listened to the griping that little Goldie gives. said with a frown. Lots of pets get tummy aches. But I bet you've never come face to face with a talking goldfish before, let alone one that would let you know if you had a tummy ache or not. I don't know how much more of this I can take. This is a really sucky tummy ache. That's all the prompting needed. out the door. The squirrels were singing, the clouds were pink, and the air was sharp and pure. As Winston walked down the street, fascinating sights caught his eye, like wise old men practicing somersaults for the first of July. And what was more exciting to our active friend were some children in the park making some kites soar and bend. The kites hovered in the sky, whooshing up and higher, their rainbow tails streaking across the sky like a trail of fire. The string of kite was attached, being gripped by a little hand, controlled by smallest child in a manner that was grand. The kite is so beautiful up there and looks so easy to fly. Perhaps I could stop my trip to the drugstore and try to get it to go high. I'm sure the kids would let me. They seem so dear and kind. I bet my day would be better if I could fly the kite on that line. But then Winston changed his mind. I'd love to fly kites, but I don't have the time. I need to help a small friend of mine. Although, on this pleasantly vibrant day, I could do the things I like to do in my jolly city with its happy crew, I have to be sure that Goldie will be okay. As he went on his way, as he strolled down the street, a sound warmed Winston's heart, its melody soft and sweet, the tune of an ice cream cart. And who was it pushing that cart with treats that were so grand? Why, it was Winston's old friend, the Neato Ice Cream Man. Winston, old boy, this day is lovely as a dream. Won't you join me in this thing of ice cream? We can get caught up on what happened since last we met. My son's back from college, and now he's a vet. And that newlywed couple that lived round the block just had a baby and moved to White Rock. Winston would like nothing more on this day of gold to have a scoop of vanilla and catch up with his pal of old. It had been ages since he saw his good friend. He would love to sit with him and watch the day end. But then Winston changed his mind. I'm sorry, dear friend, but I don't have the time. I need to help another friend of mine. Although, on this pleasantly sunny day, 
I could just do the things I like to do in my happy city with this jolly crew. I have to be sure that Goldie will be okay. And he went no. on his way. Boy, Winston must have been really worried about Goldie if he didn't even stop for ice cream. Yes, Tina, he was pretty worried. Do you want to hear what happens next? Yeah! Winston was walking. The drugstore was almost in sight, but his eyes went wide with delight. For outside a library, near the drugstore, was a group of five children, or six, maybe more, sitting in a circle, imaginations unfurled, listening to a woman read Winston's most favorite story in the whole world. Wow! Cool! Winston wanted nothing more than to be so bold and to sit in on the story that was being told. But then Winston realized... I'd love to hear the story, but I do not have the time. I have to help a special friend of mine. Although, on this pleasantly sunny day, I could just do the things I like to do in my happy city with this jolly crew, I have to make sure that Goldie will be okay. And he went on his way. He went to the drugstore with no more delay and bought the antacid he went for that day. Of all the things I could have done today, buying that antacid was boringly plain. When there was a kite that was winging, an ice cream man ringing, and a story that was bringing joy to all who were listening. Winston got more and more frustrated as he hurried back on his way. He went through his door and stopped up to Goldie. Oh, did you get them? Oh, Winston, I feel so wrong. Please, drop one of those tablets into my tank. Winston dropped a tablet into Goldie's bowl. A smile graced the fish's face. Her tummy felt whole. Oh, Winston! Oh, buddy! Oh, thank you so much! Oh, I know it took up lots of your time to buy a box of that stuff, but I feel so much better now that I've eaten this fish as acid. I was so desperately new! It was then that Winston comprehended Sometimes you must spend your day as it's supposed to be spended. That is, helping poor little Goldie's tummy get mended. Although, on that pleasantly sunny day, I could have just done the things I like to do in my happy city with this jolly crew, I sure as sure made sure that Goldie was okay. And that made Winston Buckles' day.